I'm not sure. Do you take, does the head come off? Whoa. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess it does come off. It does come off. Okay, well. Well, I'm not gonna get him for some. Oh my God, Barb. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today Barb and I are here at South County Antique Mall in South County, <laughs> St. Louis area. So we're gonna head on in here. It's a wonderful, it's a large mall, really great, and we've done well in the past. So hopefully we do well again. Let's go. All right, gonna get a basket, and hopefully we do really well. Oh, they still got all the little X's from whenever that condition was running rampant. The one that shall not be named. You must stand six feet apart condition. Ooh, we got the ceramic trees, $90. That one in the front is very special looking. I like it a lot. I like the gold, the all the snow and everything. And there's a white one. Now, actually it's weird. Last year we were here, it's been a whole year. And I remember filming in the same booth in fact, I think, was it, I don't know if the thumbnail was this, these trees or if it was something Maybe. similar. <gasps> mm -hmm. This is a good one to come to in the, in the winter time for all the Christmas stuff they have because there's so many great yeah, booths. We, we had come on Black Friday last Oh, year. Black Friday. I am a sucker for these lithographic prints. This one is from 1944 and it's of a beautiful little country cottage, like with a, with a bridge six dollars that is unbelievable unbelievable and the back well it looks like a back but in like the, the bottom 1944 written there so pretty like so six dollars gonna put that in the cart basket mm -hmm. oh well it's an oval yeah i just like the shape of it ovals I, are fun sometimes this one is seven no <laughs> but you could <laughs> no but but there's this other satchel, satchel? Um, tub. There's a tub of other things. Oh, there's those stupid people on there. Unnecessary. I could have done away with them. Ooh, wait, maybe. Eh, the frame is less than great. Four dollars. Well, maybe, no, I'm kidding. Oh, here's one of these ones with the whole words and everything. What is home without a mother? A home without a mother is a cheerless place and bare. No smile is there to light the gloom nor comfort anywhere. Tis but a blank and empty space on time's unfolding scroll. For a home without a mother is a home without a soul. That's dramatic. It is. That is a, a bit of, I'm pretty sure the mother wrote that. Cause that was, that was a, oh. They are, they are so sad. They just buried their baby. Don't say that. No, that, that's not true. <laughs> They're praying for a good harvest. That was a joke. Oh. Did you set these ones on the ground? I did didn't set anything on the ground. I'm not a, oh, here's another mother thing. I won't read that one. Oh, I looked at this one and okay. I, I was not okay. happy about it. All right, so there is lots of great glassware all over the place. Actually, this here is the Cobalt by Hazel Atlas, and they are lovely Art Deco creamers. Isn't that fun? Mm. This is a from the Depression era, and it's just it's so lovely. Oh. Carmen Baranda. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought she deserved a cameo. Oh my, this is a first. Okay, so. It's, obviously, I've sold these before, the, the metal powder boxes, but what in the world is going on with this? What's that do? What is this? Is it a pen? You're well, right. I was, my first thought was pen, but it's a powder box, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a powder... Okay, that could stop. Let me put this lid back on. Does it... It's a powder stick. Oh, no. The mechanism that gets to stop is off. Whatever. A powder stick? <laughs> Is it the original, like, beauty blender? <laughs> I love it. It's, this is, I think this is Bakelite. I think it's Bakelite. What in the world? Does anybody know what this is? Somebody know. What is it? I've never seen this apparatus on the top of one of these. But, I'm gonna, wait, should I get it? Anyway, these are from the 
the, uh, the 40s, pretty certain from the 40s or the late 30s. These metal powder boxes, and for $6, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be the person that does this. Oh, here's a Balik bowl. That one is $18. Yeah. Oh, I remember that box. Wait, do I remember? Yeah, I think I remember that box. It's $12. I don't remember it being that price. Do I want it? I have to decide some things now. Because I... Maybe there's something wrong with it. I'll look at it and let you know what I do. But uh, that's a cool looking box. Okay, I see now. So the base of it is all cracked. There's like one, two, there's three giant cracks and it's very thin wood and not very good. And that's like really worn there. Unfortunate. You're not going to come back with me. It's a really fun bird cage. It's very like mid-century looking. Hendrix. Made in USA Hendrix for $125. That's so neat. Got Santa Claus, Pepsi, sitting in his desk. And then some other blow molds over here. Upset stomach and a headache. Oh no. And Frosty also has a brain freeze. He's holding his little hat on. I'm a big fan of lamps like this. And this one's really lovely. It's, re they have reverse painted written on the tag, but it's not. So this one is, um, has pink and it's frosted. And then it has the trees painted right here on the outside of it. And then the nice really gold uh, base. This lady is still here. She's, she's an interesting character, but they also have all of the Franciscan desert rose. That's always so great to look at. And this is the pattern that Jackie Kennedy used. So fun fact, she did use this pattern. This is Franciscan from Gladding and Mc, Gladding McBean and Co out of California. They did reproduce this many, many, many years. And then there's a, another iteration out of it from England. But this one here has the, this, this F. So this is from, I believe the eighties or nineties. Interpace also made a lot of the uh, Franciscan pieces. Franciscan desert rose like this also Franciscan apple, very popular, and Franciscan ivy, extremely popular. Franciscan starburst, which is very, very, very popular uh, among the mid-century crowd. Well, for $14.95, I mean, <laughs> that's not bad. Yeah, but I mean, there's a ton of damage though. Yeah, it's, put a bow on it. Just <laughs> Over the- 20,000, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 12 bows and a cat. And I don't even like bows, so that says a lot. <laughs> But there's a lot of Capodimonte Italian porcelain. Like this one is beautiful. Look at this. It is $25. That'll hold a lot of your dust for you. <laughs> so if you're like, where do I put all my dust in my house? This will hold it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hilarious. So this is a Santa sleigh and they put an egg on it. <laughs> it looks like there's an egg on a sleigh. That's not right. So $30, but... <laughs> So this should have a Santa Claus top to it. And this goes to something else. A little, little egg. There's a, it's like Santa Claus. This, that's funny. Broken. <gasps> oh no. Oh, that's the worst kind, a broken tree. Yep. <laughs> There's a fairy lamp here at $70. Firm. It's a green stars and, or a green moon and star. So pretty. So pretty. There's some antique. <gasps> Expensive. Here's some carnival glass. I like this peacock tail one. Thirty-nine. Mm. Too much for me. Too much for me. Now this is the Amish butter prints pattern. Very, very popular. And this is a Pyrex four bowl. They call it Cinderella style. Two hundred dollars firm. And it's in the blue. They also made this in pink. I told you it's too much. Oh, I love this one too. I think I, have I sold this one yet? I think I have if I haven't yet. Or I think I haven't if I have. If I have this one, I've then I, screw it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I have that mug. Yeah, I thought so. White Castle. I like the old restaurant wear mugs that have restaurants on them. And uh, I have White Castle, Steak and Shake. That's actually all I've got. I would like a Bob Evans one, but they don't say Bob Evans on them. So that's kind of... What, they don't? The old ones don't. What do they look like? I don't know. I think they're just like cream or something. Ooh, look at the Melmac. I'm a big fan of them. I have enough of these, though. 
I'll, I'll never forget that my beautiful bowl that I got that one day. <laughs> it, it's like pink. It's a, no, it's not. It's it's blue and pink speckle, and it's a stunning situation. I thought it's blue and red. Uh, yeah, actually, you're right. <laughs> but, I'll, but I'll never forget it. Um, <laughs> I have it at home, and it's so stunning. Do it, you use it for popcorn? The, no, it usually has bananas in it, okay. but I haven't bought bananas in a while because I get sick of them because I'm so mad that they like rot so quickly. Oh. Well, just buy just like a few a days. Of That's very un not efficient at all. Well, I'm a fan of getting a bunch or not any at all. <laughs> and don't complain when you're <laughs> <dry>. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I've always been a fan of this Formica with the gold fleck on there. I have something at home that, that has that on there. Oh, they've got a second one up there. That's so nice that it fits so greatly like that, right on the little pegs. We love it for them. This is Cornflower Blue. This is a, um, a pattern by Corning. Corel is owned by Corning, and Corning also owns Pyrex in their little catalog of dishware and stuff. This is kind of neat. I actually haven't seen this before, but it looks like a button. It looks like a big old button. Huh. So somebody did that at some point in their time. So, I mean, I guess you can't really, like, change out the photo. It's $12.95 because, like, you'd have to completely delaminate it and everything. Huh. You're just stuck with those weird-looking children. What is that? I mean, it's a thing. Oh, it's kind of like those pins. Like, it's sometimes there was big pin buttons. Like, like you know, but that they, yeah. some of them have a pin on the back. Yeah, though, this has a stand. Uh-huh. Or a coat Makes more sense coat than hanger. a pin. Because why would you put a humongous pin on well, they must well you wouldn't, because that would be stupid. But <laughs> So what did they pin them on to? This is a picture frame. No, I know that. I don't know what you're talking about, so okay. I can't I can't comment. <laughs> That's cute. Well, if those people weren't on it. What? If it was just a picture of a porch. <laughs> <laughs> the faces on them are not It's funny, they weren't happy. But yet they went with it anyway. They're just like, yeah, that'll do. Let's put that on a thing. <laughs> like, I don't know. That one. Has, there is something funny about that. Yeah. And that one's just like, what? <laughs> I would be unhappy as a parent if I had that going on. I'd be like, no, straighten your faces out because this is going to go on a button. <laughs> <laughs> These are very fun. They're like little people, little people ornaments. Hmm. They say Czech coat, like Czech, as in Czechoslovakian. Twenty dollars each. I like him. I like that Santa. He's a little bit. He'd brush up okay with a with like a dog or cat slicker brush. I bet he'd do well. Hmm. And what is he? Thirty-five. Yeah, Not firm. Not too bad. And then this one down here is kind of cool, but that's seventy-five. He's lanky. Yeah. I don't think I'll do them. This is really pretty. It. Kind of has like an Art Deco, Art Nouveau almost feel with the design. It says Teheran. And then on the tag it says Early Wedgwood. So I don't know. I've Actually, I'm not familiar with that. Of course, I am with Wedgwood, but I didn't know what it, Wedgwood was before it was Wedgwood. Huh. I, it's pretty. It's uh, $17.50 for that one. There's a piece of Bristol glass. That's lovely. It is um, $22.50. It has pon the pontal mark on the bottom. I've been into the cut to clear stuff a lot lately, and this one is really beautiful because it has the ruby, and then it cuts down to the clear. This one's pretty dusty, and $14 is more than I'd like to do. But it's so pretty for this time of year, especially if you put like a light source behind it. So great. Well, it has just been a pretty difficult time here trying to find stuff. Oh, that's cool. I like that. All oh, these mercury. Yeah. That is cool. $40 for them. That one with those candy clean sleigh runners. Oh. I think it says 79 maybe. Yeah. There's a whole area of cases that we still have yet to go through. These are so great. This is a red rotary phone. I have sold one of these a long time ago. And it did, uh, let's see. At that time, it was $125 for a red rotary phone on Etsy. It works, that's great. Uh, 
but the, the phone I sold it to was actually for a production company at the time, and they were using it for their part of their set. $60 firm, that seems really reasonable for this one, and it has the original cord if you want to hardwire that into your, or unless, or if you still have this, you could, I assume that that, wait a minute, this is the updated version. The old original one, I don't think looked like that, where you could just shove it right in your wall. I think it was a different scenario, but $60, that's really good. Yeah, okay, at some point they refurbished it to be newer there. Originally, this is from, oh boy, somebody paid $2 for this. I wasn't looking for that, but originally this was, well, it says 1978 there. That's probably when it was last serviced. I don't know when it was, this was, maybe it was around 78 that they put this phone out. This is a, a Western Electric 500, if I'm not mistaken. So good. Those are, I love those. Are you getting it? No, no. Oh. But it's great to look at for $60. Oh, okay. It's very tempting. This is really unique. I haven't seen it before. It's $30. Mid-century modern stacking cat toy. I mean, I assume it's not oh, for your cat. Yeah, it's like a doctor's waiting room. Huh. I'm not sure. Do you take, does the head come off? Well. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it does come off. It does come off. Okay, well. That's, and then, yeah. And then it goes right so, in the hole. And you would pull all of them off separately, I guess? Yeah, it's a whole situation. Wow. For $30. That's fun. Yeah. I, I just think it's so unique. I haven't seen that before. And there's there's not a marking on it. It's probably Jap Japanese. That's so unique. It's cute. Barb found this reindeer. It's $25. I think that's good. I don't know who did it. It. Is, it they reminds might have me, a tag it, when we get it out. The eyes remind me of Dream Pet, the way that they look like that. And there's, a, I think, what is a stife back there of that leopard? Maybe not. But. It could be. One? The sitting one. Oh. What is his price? He say? is $32. Hmm. Not too bad. No. I don't have that one, but Surprised. that's not my favorite face. <laughs> it's a My Toy Santa, and I don't, oh, my toy. I don't really prefer mm -hmm. them, but... I don't know. Good. Well, there's a lot of hard plastic Rospro up here as well. I'm a fan of the hard plastic Rospro ones, like candy containers or Rosen. Rosen and Rospro. And the hard plastic light up guys. Now, those are dream pets there. So there's a little hippopotamus for $10. Actually, that's Dakin. Oh, or no, Dakin did do the dream pets. Santa's hiding. What? He's a Rushton back there. Oh, you're a Rushton Santa peeking Tiny. out. But we, we don't know how much well, it is. Well, that's 525, so that could be a bad sign. <laughs> the, oh, the replica, the replica thingamajig. Where do you see the tag? I don't know if I see it. There's something attached. It says the original something or other. The original bottle. Oh, it's, for, it's bottle. Oh, it's in the bag. Bottle in a bag. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can't be walking around with an open bottle. Right. You okay, well, I'll find the person for that and the, and yeah. the other thing. Oh, and there's some pie birds for all your pie baking needs. You're gonna get the $25 deer as a compromise because the Santa was a dirty mess. Well, <laughs> it was. He wasn't that bad. He was all dirty. Yeah, it, you know, if 25 he was is like, great, though. if he was half of 75, that's what I would've. You would've cleaned him on up. We'll do this, though. I don't have many reindeer. No. Okay, so this is so interesting. I was just at a, in another video. I saw these, and it was $50, and I was hemming, and I was hawing. I was mostly hawing. <laughs> but I didn't do it for $50. Here, they're $36. The difference being, this one doesn't have, like, a metal plate that goes behind it. But that's okay, because I don't really give a, give, give a care. So, for... <laughs> So for $36, I could put a, like, I like what it's doing all by itself. You could run, like, a rope through here and then hang it. Or, like, a chain, actually, would be better, like a chain. And then put, like, a picture behind it, like a frame, like I was insinuating on the last one. Oh, that's so good. But I'm just deciding, do I want the chipped up one that you get, like, lead poisoning from? Or do you want <laughs> the... I was just thinking you could put like a uh, if Christmas, it was Christmas cards. you could yeah you could stick stuff in there like you know at Christmas like you could do all kinds of fun th so do it's like do I want one that has more like color or white well, it's a matter of preference I guess um gosh I, 
I, mm. I'm not going to say which you say. Cause I'm, I'm thinking like, this one. Okay. Because uh, look, there's a little bit of blue peeking out. So uh -huh. you can see all the colors that it once was. This yeah. one has no blue. It just has this ugly mustard color. Yeah. Or nicotine. I don't know which. <laughs> but I'm going to get for 36. Unfortunately, this is literally, oh my God. That's, oh, that, I was wondering. I thought I had something else, but you were holding it. Uh, I love that. It's going to be such a great time. Yes. Putting that on the wall and then watching it fall off the wall because it's so heavy. Oh, it but no, it'll be fine. It's so it's exciting. Anchors. Anchors. Yeah, and a chain. <laughs> oh. Did you get anything? I got the stuffed deer. The stuffed deer. Right now we're going to head on into Get Your Kicks on 66 here in downtown. Well, in St. Louis. So let's head on inside. Well, I got a little rolly cart basket. What That's is fun. Is he it a king? Italian. Yeah. He's a Italian king. king. Shaker? That's a shaker. Oh, wow. That's a large yes. shaker. Four little holes. Yeah. This is pretty. That is pretty. That's also Itali. Yep. Itali. It says Batosi on the bottom. I don't know Where? If I, on the Oh, tag. they called it that? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know about that, but... I'm not sure. Look at this moron. Beautiful. That's a really cool Formica table. 350. I like... This is known as cracked ice, by the way, whenever it has the gray like this. So it's a cracked ice Formica. 350 firm. With these great chairs. It's so fun. This is Viking for $12.50. That's pretty nice. If only I recorded. You're <laughs> skipping down the hall here. Jeffrey was speeding along, and luckily I didn't go too fast because I would have missed Santa. He's missing his belt, but he's not too dirty. He's pretty good, and he's only $20. Golly. Yay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, too, I just need a flamingo now. <laughs> okay, I got to go back and kind of get because I skipped past everything. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm going to go this way because I'm looking, I know there's a booth around the corner here that has some nice glassware. At least it did whenever I was here the first time. So hopefully, hopefully I can uh, see if they have any more for me. But it's just down the center aisle, I believe. A couple booths down. Actually, I think it's right over here. Yeah, here it is. All right, let's see what they've got for me today. Oh, yeah. You're skipping again. You're kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get this one, though. I think you should get one. I think not. You don't have one. I have a tiny thing that I think you got me at one point, or maybe I bought. I don't know. It was some little Santa that... Oh, uh, the little... Yeah, that mm -hmm. was from a subscriber. Okay, that's right. Yeah. 65 That is not a bad price because he's very clean. It's just... I recently bought one similar to him. His beard will be fine. That would go just fine. I could get it perfect. I don't need that in my life. Okay. I really don't, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not going to get him for something. Oh, my God, Barb. What? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> get over there. That's like another guy, kid. <laughs> Looks like a little boy kid. This place is full of things. This one is 59. This is 59 as well. Okay. Yeah, now those are not Rushton's, so no. I'm not, not going to, and I have that one. I mean, I'm going to get back one. to my glass. Spoke too soon. There's another one on the ground. <laughs> what? He's funny. $63. Yeah, that's a little too much. I think. Do they, have, they don't have any glass for me. Oh. I mean, they have the Marigold Carnival glass there. And there's some Fenton and the Hobnail Opalescent. That's a pretty bird, actually. That one. So a parrot. Oh yeah. 20. Hmm. But it's nice. It has like the little glitter stuff in there. Well, no glass for me, but there's a little rushed in, in the cart, so. Oh yes, now this is a very good looking booth. I remember filming in this one last time, but I didn't get anything in it. It's really lovely. Here's some great little stuff. Christmas, $65 deer napco. I haven't really seen that one before. The, the deer. 48 for the man in the ring. Well, this is going to be Barb getting something here. She's going to get the Rushton dog, or doll, Santa doll. And, uh, and that'll have to be it. 
Well, we just finished up here at the second place and you with your rushed in Santa Clauses. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad that one was reasonably priced because I get sad when I see them, you know, in, in the wild and can't get them, but he was reasonable at $20, so. Yes, I mean, that's. He doesn't have his belt, but, and he's a little yellowed, but he's not too bad, so. And he even has a candy cane. Yeah, I was gonna say he has a candy cane. <laughs> so, overall, we did really well. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> didn't buy a dare, a, a, anything. So we'll wrap it up here. Well, I bought stuff at the other mall, but yeah. like three things. Okay. And the one before that was better. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.